guys, it's a proud cat lover. Today I'm going to be making a video with all of my new pet caterpillars that I just found yesterday. So yesterday I went to a friend's house. Um, my parents were going over there, so they asked if I wanted to come. I always want to come when it's this person's house because I'm always finding cool insects. So I only found one beetle, and after I got done catching all these caterpillars and stuff, the mosquitoes really started coming out because they had a pond which is where I caught all of these caterpillars. And you can see this inchworm right here that is completely trekking it out, man, because he's trying to escape, but he can't figure out that he just walked down the container, so he's been going in circles. It's hilarious. But anyway, this... Oh, and there's the other one that he's trying to mess with right there. This here. This is one. But, um, he keeps smelling it for some reason. So anyway, they have a willow tree, which I did not know, growing in one of their ponds and they have another pond where there's three more growing. So almost every single caterpillar I caught eats on the willow except for these ones which eat on sunflowers which you'll see in a minute. So my first awesome ones that I saw are these and I thought for a second that they were swallow tail caterpillars because of how they look. But come to find out because I'm in a group on Facebook and I, I got on there and asked them what kind of caterpillars they are. This one is just not wanting to cooperate. Let me see if I can grab this one. Come here. Cooperate, please. Okay, so I can kind of get this one for you. You can see how they look just like bird poop, which is normally a typical way that swallowtail caterpillars look, except the only thing that was weird is they had these horn type appendages on their head here. So that was the only thing throwing me off because I couldn't figure out like what kind of caterpillars they were because I got on I was looking for swallowtail caterpillars and I counted them I have around 20 of them in here and I'm gonna have to probably get more willow leaves soon because even though there's still a bunch um, there's a lot of caterpillars in here and they might have it gone by tonight. Anyway these are actually Viceroy caterpillars. I'll put a picture of what the butterfly looks like. Uh, for people who know what a Viceroy is, it is the monarch butterfly mimic. They're a lot smaller, they don't have as broad of wings or patterns, but the colors are almost identical. So I thought that was pretty awesome because this is the only butterfly that I got. Now these ones are a mystery. I'm not sure if they're butterfly or moth, but we'll see. So moving on. We have three inchworms. So what happened was I originally only had found these ones and this one here. I had not found the ones in here or the inchworms. So um, I had this big huge container that I picked a whole bunch of these branches off of the willow. I stuck them in this container and I brought them into the person's house. So they have a couple kids that they have there and so they were asking me about the caterpillars and they wanted to see them. So we opened the container and we spot some of these caterpillars, which I'll show you in a second, and then inchworms. So I had to go through the entire container of leaves last night before I stuck the leaves in the refrigerator just to make sure I wasn't accidentally um, killing off any caterpillars I was not aware of. So after going through last night, originally there was only two inchworms. I found one more. There was only two of these caterpillars, and I found three babies, which one of them I accidentally uh, squished with the lid because I didn't see it on the lid. So I feel really bad, but I have two of those. And then there's a mystery teeny baby. So anyway, we'll show you this one next. So I will put the name of this one in the video because I do not remember the name of it. But I was kind of sad because it's an awesome looking caterpillar and it just turns into like a gray and brown moth. But here is this caterpillar. It does say on the website that the person had linked it to for me that those spines can actually sting which I did not touch it, and I've like barely touched it at all. Um, but I have not grabbed it or anything because I was reading that. Because it says on the website, caution, this caterpillar can sting. And I'm like, cool. So <laughs> that is its little container. This is like a betta fish container, as you can see here, that I use. These things work really great for if you have just one caterpillar. This container here that the inchworms are in was actually used for dubia roaches. And uh, it works really well for caterpillars that you don't have a lot of. So I'll show you the inchworms. There's one here. 
and then this one here that was moving around a whole bunch earlier the other one and they blend in so well is the problem because I know it's in here I just don't see it and I don't want to mess with the leaves because I have them nicely put in there and I feel like if I take it out that it's gonna be a pain getting it back in there but yeah the other inchworm looks just like these ones so there's three of those I have no clue what these are gonna be for sure I know they're gonna be a moth or they should be anyway most inchworms I've ever taken care of always turn into moths so these caterpillars I have two of the big ones and then I have two tiny little babies and I'll put a picture of the moth and the scientific name because I do not know how to pronounce it Um, but these things are really cool. Whoops. Okay, they're both on the same, so it's okay that I dropped that. So, here's the caterpillar. Here's what its face looks like. Which its face, of course, is the grayish-brown part, and those two black spots, I guess, are just, like, kind of supposed to look like eyes. And then it looks like it has just one horn, but when you pet it, you can see how those two tails are separated. And they actually can move them, which is funny. Let me go to the smaller one. Whoop! Here, let me drop the plant first. Um, the smaller one, you can see, has longer ones. And when you touch them, which, let me see if I can... Okay. But I'll see if I can get him to do it. Because when you touch them, they will curl up the tail. Oh, here he goes. You can see how they separate the tail. Now, yesterday he was really angry and he would like s curl them and they would turn black. He's not going to do it for me though, but they're really cool caterpillars. They <laughs> were complete ninjas because I did not see them at all. And the moth they turn into I don't have, so I'm going to be keeping one of them for my collection, but the others I will be letting go. So here are the babies. You can see that one right there. The other one, you can see its tail poking out. But they are really, really tiny. So let me grab this leaf here. And you can see just how tiny they are. And these ones we found crawling on a uh, white lid that the um, caterpillars were in. Because the caterpillars, at first, these ones look like bird poop, were in here. And we found the babies crawling on these lids because they had crawled up, which I'm glad they did because the bigger caterpillars could have eaten them by accident because that's happened before. Let me see if I can sm find the small caterpillar. There's the one, sadly, that died that's right there. Okay, here it is. So here is the really tiny baby that I found in the same ice cream pail. You can see it that little brown thing right there <laughs> so I have no clue what kind it's going to be but for now all the babies are being kept in this little tiny uh, trinket container that the kids gave me to put the caterpillars in which was awesome because all the containers I had even though they're small um, they didn't have a way for me to poke holes in them so this plastic's you know really flimsy so I was able to poke a hole in there and lastly, these are ones I found on sunflowers. And all of the caterpillars were found on one leaf, which is that one that's turning brown that's right there. So they had to have just recently hatched, but I have no clue what they're going to be. But there is a lot, because you can see there's that, and then there's some on that leaf, and then there's a whole bunch if I can get it. There's a few on this leaf here. And then this is one of the other leaves that I took. And you can see all the other ones on here. So I'm going to have a bunch of these. Whatever they are, I'm going to have a bunch. I really hope they're a butterfly because I obviously love raising butterflies. So anyway, guys, those are my caterpillars. I just wanted to show them to you real quick because I thought they were really cool. But I'm almost out of time for videoing on my phone, so I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be making video updates as we go along. 
just because they're so awesome. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.